Welcome back everyone, this is Traycon here, the game is statistician, and uh, this episode is going to be all about guild rewards and uh, guild quests and pretty much how important they are. And you can see right now it's the start of a new week, uh, we have 970 crowns on the first day with a few hours left. Uh, that's a little bit low for us on the first day, I'm wondering if maybe they've had some issues again with the uh, timestamp, so uh, they seem to still be working on getting the uh, timing correct where I think what's happening is some of my members of the guild are getting these quests at midnight their time and they're completing them for this week but then the game is updating a few hours after that and then so we lose those crowns and uh, we don't get them at the start of this week so there's a lot more zeros than normal we actually almost never have zeros uh, so you can see I'm going to show you how awesome uh, actually completing these quests is. So if you if you get in a good guild, really you just need to get in a guild that can get 6,000 crowns a week. So you can see last week we had a little over 8,000 crowns which put us in about 30th place. We're really trying to shoot for top 10 but right now 30th is a good start. But uh, the key here is that you get uh, free heroic summons, a nice amount of tokens, and uh, some stamina as well as some gold. Uh, the heroic summons is really the cool part about this though so heroic summons are always really nice the more of those you can get the better so I'm gonna go ahead and accept that uh, hopefully this week we'll also be able to get top 30 that's about where we've been the last couple weeks we'd like to move up soon but uh, let's go into the heroic summons here uh, we'll just use it right away and to show let's see if we can get super lucky so maybe we'll get cruel king bramble or agarok on the first try I just have this one free summon so let's go ahead and see uh, potentially super lucky and no, unfortunately a gold chest so uh, we did get some King Bramble tokens as well as uh, Celestial Evos uh, but my streak of terrible luck in uh, heroic summons continues but if you look at these quests you're gonna get three quests a day and each quest is worth 10 crowns sometimes you get a quest that's worth 15 crowns I haven't figured out yet how they decide if a quest is worth 15 crowns, if it's just kind of luck or not, uh, but this one's pretty easy. It's it's always very easy to get at least 20 crowns a day. So you can see one of these, collect my gold dungeon two times. I'm just been kind of saving it for the video. So you can come in here for the second time, collect my gold dungeon, boom, collect. And so all you have to do is get in there twice and you get 10 crowns for your guild. So that's a piece of cake. And then defeat 12 Astral Adepts. So this is actually a pretty hard one for me uh, this week just because it happens to be the hardest dungeon I have uh, in the campaign in Chapter 20, and this is still pretty difficult, but I did it once. I got 9 out of 12. It'll be really easy to go back and do it again and get three more. And then there's always one that sometimes is a little bit more difficult, the third one. And this one is, for me, is win two P PvP raids with all green heroes. Not too tough this week. Sometimes it's, you know, get to level, level 10 of the Tower of Pawnage. Sometimes it's win two PvP raids with all yellow heroes, which is pretty much impossible for me right now with my yellow heroes. I need to get them. Yellow I actually have a small chance of doing, uh, but whenever I get purple, it's really difficult. So right now in my guild, the minimum you need to get a day is 20 crowns. So if you're in a guild, that's what you should expect of the people in your guild. If they're not getting 20 crowns a day, you need to get rid of them and find someone who's more active. So let's go ahead and try to find a couple P... Oh my gosh, so we're just trying to uh, get the guild crowns right now, so we'll take this really easy one. And uh, there are some five-star heroes here, probably fully ascended, uh, but hopefully the level factor here will just make it pretty easy. Uh, this is actually could be a difficult team, uh, but we're just going to go ahead and... Let's see, we want to use Bovis second because he's got that really nice ability that can take a uh, turn away from everyone or peace energy away from everyone and obviously Woe will go first. Uh, but let's see what happens here. Hopefully Bovis, he's only two stars, hopefully he's strong enough here to help me through this. But I think the level fact, the level difference here will make this not too difficult, although those heroes were look like five star and fully ascended. So I've been surprised by... Uh, something like this before where I think I attack a really easy team and those are the ones I lose you know and a cool update would be for big fish games to let you turn on or off uh, this chat here 
sometimes it's really annoying. Like right now, they've just been going on and on and on about who they're going to vote for and, and is Trump good or is Trump bad. And right now, I just like to turn the chat off. I'm getting sick and tired of seeing things about Trump up there. So hopefully in the future, they do an update that lets you do that. So now the question is, do I want to... I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually hit Shadow Blade and uh, hopefully take him out. I don't think he'll dodge because of the level difference. And uh, as long as I take him out, he won't get another attack in. If if he attacks, if he gets an attack in, he's probably going to kill Willow. So I don't want him to get an attack in. Okay, good. Killed him. Uh, now Tasume attacks, which is no big deal. It'll just do damage to my Tasume, uh, which will give him more ability. And then we'll use uh, between... Uh, my Bovis here and Tasume. Hopefully, I can almost kill their Tasume. We'll see. So let's see how close I can get to killing their Tasume. And so this team, even though they're level in the mid-level 40s, they're pretty strong. So they're taking a beating right now. Uh, the question is, do I want to heal? I, I think I just want to try to kill Tasume here. So I'm just try to kill him before he can, because right now he's going to have a huge amount of uh, damage from him. That's pretty sweet. It's always nice to see. Uh, unfortunately, my Tsume died, but I should still be fine. Kill their Tsume now, and then I no now I just have to kill their Willow. So, which shouldn't be an issue. And of course, she can dodge like crazy, right? So we'll keep she'll keep dodging, but I'll be able to heal myself over and over and over again with Chief Nub Nub, and I'll be able to get the win with all green heroes. So I got to get two of these. Uh, once I get two of these, I will uh, get my guild crowns. So I just need to actually start hitting her. There we go. So one hit, and it's over. Yeah, I don't really care that I have one guy left. It's really all about just getting getting the win there. So now one more win with all green heroes, and I will uh, get another guild quest done. Okay, so let's look for a, another PvP here with all green heroes. So i got to make sure I use my all green heroes again to finish this before the end of the evening. Uh, let's see here. Pretty easy. So I, I like to go for the easy ones when I'm trying to finish a guild quest because the main goal is just to make sure I get the crowns uh, for my guild every day. And I'll be able to attack Bovis here. Uh, take him out first with my Willow after I take him out. Then I'll probably start focusing on uh, Alexandros. Uh, it depends on, a little bit on Tsume. It, it's always hard to know when to attack him. You never, I, I try to never attack him too early because if I attack him and I leave him at a sliver of health and he hasn't used his soul shred yet, then he could potentially take out my entire team, which is something I obviously want to avoid. Uh, I think most people by this level you know, know that that can happen. Uh, but if you're in your in the 20s or 30s, I really suggest uh, using Tasume on your defensive team because a lot of people just don't know that he can do that soul shred, and they won't kill him on the first attack, and then he'll kill the entire team, and you'll get a lot of defensive wins. But now, I'll, just like I said, I'll take out Bovis first. Uh, Willow should be able to one-shot him since he's a few levels below. Now Tasume is going to use his Soul Shred, so get that out of the way. So now we can actually start doing damage to, to Tasume. Uh, let's use Bovis' ability here, which is pretty nice. It takes away one energy from everyone, so they can't use their special abilities qu as quickly. And then I can use my Tasume to Soul Shred. If I'm lucky, this might even take out their Willow. We'll see. Yep, so it takes out their Willow, which is pretty nice. And now I'm going to get Tasume out of their Tasume out of the way. I'm not even going to worry about healing. Uh, this should be a pretty easy win. So uh, that's a nice thing about Chief Nub Nub is he can actually heal the team if he crits. And then a few more hits here, and I get my second PvP win with an all-green team. Collect my scrolls, which is always awesome. You always want those honor scrolls for honor summons. How many did I get there? 87, a little bit of gold, some trophies. And now we can go and we can say, okay, let's complete the green machine. And once again, we add 10 more crowns. Now, I'm not going to finish uh, this uh, guild astral hassle. Uh, I'm just going to do that on my own. But that will give me 10 more crowns and 30 crowns for the day. And we can go back to my guild. They'll put us over 1,000, which... 
you know, is is not terrible. I'm just really surprised with the fact that we're 78th right now. I, I think Big Fish Games really needs to figure out this whole time zone thing. Some teams are taking advantage of it. You can see they already have over 2,000, uh, you know, crowns on, on the first day, which is just ridiculous. Uh, and it, a lot of it has to do with the time zone thing, I think. Um, my guild is not going to be taking advantage of it. We're just going to play legit. And eventually, once they figure that out, I'm sure we're going to move up further and further. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign out now. I'm going to finish this last quest here, uh, get 30 crowns for my guild. And I hope you enjoy the video. Peace.